Okay, this is the uh, waste vegetable oil reactor that I'm selling on eBay at the moment. Just to give you a quick demonstration of uh, what it can do. It's not just a uh, reactor, it's also, I think, a complete solution because uh, what you can do is filter your waste vegetable oil into this tank. I've just got it full of water to demonstrate the pumping options. Um, once that tank's full, it can be pumped into the main reactor for reacting or for storage into a 1,000 litre IBC tank, which saves a lot of messing around with lots of little cubes all over the place. Um, like I say, I've filled this up with water for demonstration purposes. And what I'm going to do first is show that you can fill the reactor up from this drum. So here we go. What I'm going to do next is turn the valve gear to do that. Um, I'll turn this valve on, which is the valve allowing water to come out of the 200 litre tank. Then we'll turn this valve on here, which allows water to come through the pump and into the reactor. So water is going to come out of the tank, down this tube, through the pump and up there, that pipe there which feeds into the top of the reactor. So I'll just turn the pump on. It's now filling the reactor. I'll just show inside if I don't drop my phone. Just filling the reactor up. You can see the level is slightly well, you might not see it's going down very, very slowly. So what you'd normally do is filter your waste vegetable oil into this drum, then uh, let it settle for a few days. I've also got a heater at the bottom of the drum to warm it up to help it settle. Then you can pump it straight into your reactor like I'm doing now and react it. As you can see, I've got a separate mixing tank on the side for the methanol and the methox oxide mix. What I normally do is pump 100 litres into that tank. Okay, what we're doing now, if I show you on my little plant, is we're pumping from the 200 litre storage into the reactor. You can also pump from the 200 litre storage straight into the IBC, which is really handy if you've got lots of oil and you need to store it. I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so I'm going to turn the pump off. Pump is now off. You can see it's hard to tell, but there's about 30 litres of water in there now. So I'll turn the valves off for that tank, off for there. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to have the valve on coming out of the 200 litre drum, and we're going to come down that pipe. That valve is also on going into the pump. The valve's off, stopping the water going up, so we'll open this valve, which sends it into the IBC. So what we're doing now on the diagram is pumping from this tank into the IBC for storage. This would be if you've got too much chip fat and you've sieved it into this drum and you just want to store it for later reacting, that will pump it into there. So I'm going to do that now. It's going to be really hard to tell what's going on here from the camera, but basically that tank is being filled from this 200 litre drum. I'm going to let that completely empty. You might be able to see the level going down. This is the, the pump, it's uh, just a standard cheap 33 litre per minute pump from Machine Mart. I was going to put 100 litre per minute pump on, they're about £70 on eBay. This pump is a bit dodgy, it's on its way out, it's a few years old, so if I was you, I would get the 100 litre per minute pump and it'll really liven things up a bit. I'm just going to check what's happening now with the level. Yep, it's going down.
Let's give you a wider shot of the whole outfit. Now then, let's just check the level again. As you can see, it's going down. You'll have to take my word for it, but it's getting pumped into this IBC. The next thing which you might want to do is if you've not got any chip fat to react in your steel drum, you may need to suck some chip fat out of the IBC. So on my little diagram, because it's hard to tell from the machine, I'm going to go from the IBC straight into the reactor. OK. Now then, in order to do this, because it's not a self-priming pump, you have to suck some chip fat out of the drum and pump it through to the IBC. Once it's pumped through and all the air's out, like it is now, we'll turn the valves around and we can suck straight out the IBC because the pump's now primed. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to stop the pump. Pump is stopped. That valve's fine because we're sucking out. Now then, on the valve gear, and it looks complicated, but it's not really. Once you get your head around it, I'm going to turn that valve off. So the pipe coming down uh, from the IBC comes down here. Um, it can't go up there. That valve's off at the end. And I'm going to open this valve here, allowing it the water to come down here. Go to the pump here. That valve's off. It can't go up there. I want to pump it into here and it should come out at the top here straight from the IBC so let's give that a shot right now um, I'm pumping it out of the IBC down that pipe there down here into this valve body it can't go there, it has to go along here, along here, and through up here, and that, that comes out and goes all the way around, and I can show you if you don't drop the iPhone into the thing. That's filling up straight from the IBC. I used this system for two years, making chip fat, making waste biodiesel, and I found it really good. It's it, it, plenty of storage. You can store 1,200 litres of uh, waste vegetable oil. Once you've filtered it into the steel drum, you don't have to handle it anymore. You just pump it around. A lot of places just sell the reactor on its own. Well, that's okay, but it's a real mess trying to pour waste vegetable oil into the top of that thing every time you want to react some oil. And also, you've got a lot of little tiny storage, 20 litre boxes all over the place and this setup I fitted it in a standard garage down the side I had plenty of room for bicycles and things the um, it's good to have a proper tank at the side for mixing the thoxide up because you don't want to get any of them chemicals and I've also got with the kit um, some sulfuric acid which gets you out of trouble if you react it too far this will bring it back and you can recover yoghurt <laughs> back into biodiesel. I've also got approximately 70 litres of um, methanol and I've also got a drum which you store the potassium hydroxide in which is the chemical that you mix with the methanol to make the methoxide to make your biodiesel. I've also got an uh, industrial strength bubbler which is used in the drying process uh, I've got a couple of other things. I've got an exact one litre measuring jug, which is good for making titration. Um, I've also got a temperature gauge. That's good for judging the oil temperature, just see if it's getting up to temperature. But also, um, I'll better turn this off, as you can see. It's almost full. Um, it's heated by... Um, I don't have to go around the other side for you to see that. It's got a heating element. It's an incoli, incoli heating element. It's similar to stainless steel. Um, it goes. It's just two little holes into the thing, and there's a coil inside. 
and it's a two kilowatt heater. That's got a, I've got a, a temperature probe going into the tank in this box here, which regulates the temperature around 55 degrees C. I've got a spare heating element. I've never had a problem with the heating element. I don't know if you'll hear it crackling if I turn it on. It, I've also got a, uh, a level sensor in here so that the heating element won't turn on unless, there's in, there's, unless the uh, heating element is covered with liquid. Um, that's a bit of a safety feature. I thought it was a good idea. I don't know if you can hear it crackling. I'll just put the microphone near it. But it's heating up now. I have a, like I say, I've got a spur heat element with that. Okay, this is, uh, in my opinion, a, a complete solution for the biodiesel. Um, I spent two years getting it right. Um, I, I've just separated from my wife, and I'm just selling, a, a, selling it up at the moment. I've nowhere to put it. Um, okay, good luck with the bidding. Bye.